It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. But going up against the bull, I don't know if that's one fight I want to be a part of. This is the last day of the Wyoming High School State Finals Rodeo. Starting with the Bearbacks, it's Jeffrey Zdarsky of Sheridan, state champ two years ago, runner-up last year, and after a 79-point ride, he's state champ again. Good ride, Cowboy. Saddle Bronx, you have to finish in the top four for the season to make it to the High School National Finals Rodeo. Mike Burtonshaw from Buffalo is one of them. He was the only one to ride on the last day. He scored 64 and finished in third place for the season. The state champ for the second year in a row is Brody Cress out of Hillsdale, although the horse he was riding was not in a celebratory mood, and that cowboy ended up eating dirt. That could not taste good. Now this rider is Cale Tisbert out of Sheridan. He's not going to nationals, but watch the landing off of the dismount. Ouch. He took a pile driver and was down and out for a few minutes, but there was a happy ending. He got up a few minutes later, and he was fine after having his bell run. Team roping, the top pair is Joby Barquin out of Kinnear and Nate Rogers of Buffalo. They'll throw two lassos in 6.77 seconds. That would get them a state championship, and they'll take that to Rock Springs in July. Now for the ladies, pole bending. Abby Devereaux out of Newcastle. She was on the bubble going into the last day of competition. She told her horse to giddy up, and the horse did just that. The fastest run of the day, 21.213 seconds. She made it and she's going to nationals. Here's the girl everyone was chasing, Chloe Agenhurst of Wheatland, last year state champ, and she placed fifth nationally last year. She's the state champ again after zigzagging her way through six poles with a time of 21.871 seconds. Another girl going to the high school NFR is Brianna Reimler out of Buffalo. Although things did not go well for her on the final weekend of competition, she did do good enough to make it in this event. And she is your all-around cowgirl state champion. Goat time, four girls will represent the cowboy state, but only one is from Wyoming. This is Josie Vogel out of Pavilion, turning in a time of eight and a half seconds, good enough to make her number three on the season. Rodeo is not a varsity sport, so you can cross the border and compete for another state if you want to. The state champion goat tire is Jamie Thompson from Whitney, Nebraska. She got her goat in 7.80 seconds for the win. Breakaway roping, Justine Hersig from Cheyenne. She will turn in a time of 6.62 seconds. Not her best, but it got the job done. She had some time to spare to ensure her victory. Barrel racing, this is Lindsay Adamson of Arveda. She is your Wyoming High School queen of the barrels as she and her horse will turn three on the last day of competition in 17.918 seconds. That was a good run. Back to the boys, steer wrestling. This competition was close. Cade Greer out of Gillette bulldogs his steer in 7.04 seconds. Fastest time of the last day and good enough for a state runner-up finish. But the saddle and belt buckle would go to Kane Butcher out of Jelm. 7.36 seconds is pretty good as well. He'll try to throw down three in Rock Springs next month. Tie-down roping. Casey Sellers out of Buffalo pretty much had the competition in the bag. 11.07 seconds was his time. He also qualified in steer wrestling, and he is your Wyoming boys all-around state champion. Finally, the bull riding, and the bulls dominated the final weekend. Evan Wilhelm of Glendo is the state champ, and he was the only one who got an eight-second ride in on the weekend, just not on the last day. The high school national finals rodeo runs from July 13th through the 19th in Rock Springs.